Turning now this noon to a developing story at the White House where Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel just announced his resignation. Our senior political reporter Scott Thuman is at the live desk this noon with the reason behind the departure. Scott, do we know? Uh, we don't really know at this point, Jumi. I mean, I'll talk this morning since news broke that Secretary Hagel stepping down has been that he was pressured to leave, that the friction between the White House and the Pentagon had really reached a point that the relationship was no longer working. There was a big effort, though, today uh, in the announcement at the White House just about a half hour ago to try and dispel that rumor. But it is a shakeup for sure at a very difficult time for the U.S. military trying to devise a plan an international plan really coordinating with other countries for defeating ISIL among other top issues. So it is tough to know if this will quell any of that criticism that the administration doesn't seem to have a real unified message here. Uh, if it's going to quiet some of the critics, Republicans already saying this shows that the administration isn't all together with a plan just yet. Uh, here just about 20 minutes ago is President Obama talking with Secretary Hagel. Last month, Chuck came to me to discuss the final quarter of my presidency and determined that uh, having guided the department through this transition, it was an appropriate time for him to complete his service. Uh, let me just say that Chuck uh, is and has been a great friend of mine. It's been the greatest privilege of my life, the greatest privilege of my life to lead and most important to serve, to serve with the men and women of the Defense Department and support their families. And Secretary Hagel saying that he will stay on, but you heard those strong implications he'll stay on until he's replaced. The strong implications that this was Hagel's idea, um, and that's something we're going to continue to debate and try and figure out exactly why this happened when it did. He's only been on the job uh, just under two years, so there's a lot of speculation there. Now, coming up tonight on ABC 7 News, we're going to have more reaction to this major development. We're also going to talk about potential future uh, Secretary of Defense possibilities. There are ones, names that are being bandied about. So we'll have that for you coming up as well. Back okay. to you guys. Okay.